hey, 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 wonderful, wonderful, wonderful people. How is everybody doing this beautiful, beautiful Friday? Um, the sun's not quite out over here where I am, where I'm at. So if you guys are having a sunny Friday, please send some of that sun my way. Okay, please bless me with some of that sun. I'm ready to get it. I'm ready to go outside. I'm ready to sunbathe, but it's just like super cloudy right now. So if you guys are having a beautiful sunny Friday um, in your area, send me some of that sun. Um, definitely send me some of that sun. So I want to share my experience with you guys. So um, you guys know I made a video about creating your own vehicles, right? I haven't had a driver's license for about a year because I was like, you know what, get that. I ain't getting that driver's license. Whoop -whoop. What I did realize is that, that I am in 3D Matrix. And although by law you don't need driver's license, I know that I know that I would just have to go through so much paperwork and everything to, to push that. So I just decided to get my license. So um I started doing practice tests. The first day I did the practice test, I was failing left to right. I wasn't passing any of the tests. And so I decided to create my own deity that represents knowledge, understanding, and wisdom. And his name is Eogor. Let me show you Eogor. So I just made him into a sigil, but later I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do with him. He could do so much. It doesn't matter. But his energy is alive. No matter if I change him from a sigil or a voodoo dog, it doesn't matter. So this is Eogor. He has number 13. It's anointed with my menstrual blood. Yes. With my magical menstrual blood, ladies. If you don't know how strong and how powerful your menstrual blood is, you definitely need to check my YouTube um, video out on YouTube about creating sigils and anointing it with um, body fluids. Not just menstrual blood. You can use ear wax. You can use a fingernail. You can use a piece of hair. You're just putting a piece of your energy to that. So this is Eogor. On the back, that's how you spell his name. That's how I spell it. Eogor. He is for wisdom and knowledge and understanding. So what I did is the next day, or that same night after I kept failing the test, I created Eogor. I slept with Eogor. I talked to Eogor. The next day, I gave Eogor peanut butter crackers because I was eating peanut butter crackers. You have to really speak you have to get your imaginary friends back so eogor is one of my friends that helps me so i created eogor and the next day i hopped on the uh practice test again and when i tell y'all i was knocking out to practice test out like it won't nothing the very, very first day now listen the, the very first day i was failing after creating eogor which is just an energy which is an entity which is just an energy which is just invoked inside of me I am wisdom, I am knowledge, I am understanding, but I had to evoke inside of me to help pass this um this this test. And Eogor was my tool to help me pass the test. So I want you guys to know, know create these deities. Create these deities. You are the master, they are the servers, the servant of you. This is your reality. Create what you want. I just seen somebody, uh, one of my sisters, she posts about, um, you know, she wanted to collect rainwater. And I was like, hell yeah, collect that rainwater. Somebody was like, well, what should I do? Drink it in my bath. It don't matter what you do with the water. You are the magician. Oh, my gosh. Take the water and put it in your plants and say a positive affirmation as you're born and say that your plants are going to be healed or your plants are going to yield like super growth, whatever you want to do. I can't stress it enough, guys. You guys are the magicians. It doesn't matter. If it's raining somewhere where you guys are and you know this is the purging time and you know this is the cleansing time, collect the water, drink the water in the morning whenever you want to, and just as you're drinking the water, say to yourself, I am purged, I am cleansed, I am released. No matter what you do, always say something. Everything is a ritual. Everything is a spell. Anytime I eat something, if I'm eating something related, colored, relating to my chakra colors, I eat it and I say, I am balancing my sacral chakra. 
I am cleansing my sanctuary. When I'm in a shower, taking a shower, and a waterfall going down on me, I say, purify and cleanse my mind, body, and soul. Take away any impurities um, that's not serving my vessel's higher good. Like anything, just anything. I just threw that together. It don't even matter. When I put lotion on, I'm imagining that the lotion is an elixir. I'm imagining that my DNA is being activated when I'm putting lotion on. Let's get in our imagination. You are the magician. You don't need confirmation. You don't need nobody to tell you nothing. You are all. You are me and I am you. If I can do it, you can do it. I need y'all. I need you guys. I need to combine with my other self. So I just wanted you guys to know how powerful you are. Use your imagination. You think I care? I'm, I'm all in the house talking to you for. I know my mama probably like, I don't care because I'm getting childlike and I'm getting back into my imagination. Eobor is my imaginary friend. If you want to say imaginary, it's just a label. Eobor is my entity. Eobor is an energy entity that I created because it's thought form. It's thoughts and energy and formation. So I really wanted to share that with you guys. And another thing that I wanted to share with you guys is, did you check out the metamorphosis of the moon last night? Did you see the veil piercing and the thin layer behind it last night? Like, so many people had different experiences. Like I told you guys, go outside. There's going to be a message. The message is going to be different for different people. What I personally think, there were stars twinkling, different colors, um, meteor shower. I seen about four shooting stars. Um, there was flashes in the sky. Like, there was totally night out. I, I trance last night. I'm gonna make a video show you guys how to trance. Last night I tranced out into the moon. Um, I, I don't know how I really can describe. I guess trance would be kind of like taking your two physical eyes and aligning them with your penile gland. And so it's like you got like a blurry vision a little bit. But I tranced out and stared at the uh, moon because the moon was giving off such a bright, strong light like it was the sun it was beautiful so i tranced out and i just stared at it for a little bit and i just watched like watched the bright light just come through my penile gland and then also you can see there were so many things jumping in this dimension and jumping out this dimension last night you guys um when i was tranced out when you tranced out you see everything in your peripheral you see everything in your peripheral so man and there was just stuff running rampant last night when that veil was open last night. I mean, the veil was still open. But last night, I actually witnessed it. Like, I seen, like, it was spirits and all kind of things just, you know, running in and out, running in and out. Um, Some other things that I experienced, like I said, the flashing. And then it was like, um, flashing and I seen, like, a, a white squiggle do like this. So, um, it was just definitely dope. Like I said, something just told me to go outside. You got When something tells you to go outside, go. If something tells you to stand outside of the rain, stand outside of the rain. That's another good thing to release. You people who are um are going through this, it's raining or something like that. Some of you sisters said it's raining in your area. If you got a backyard, stand outside naked. Stand outside naked in the rain and imagine mother renting and purifying detoxifying your body use your imagination it's gonna work it's gonna work you gotta have faith you gotta believe in yourself even if you can't get naked i love to be naked i love to be in my natural avatar suit you know and i think we really should get back into being our natural suit clothes are so restricting so if you want to go out in the rain with clothes and still imagine being purged and cleansed. Guess what, you guys? It's gonna work. You are the magicians, okay? You're the magicians. It don't matter if you do a ritual on Friday, Saturday, it don't matter if you make a sigil on a Monday or a sigil on a full moon, a new moon. It don't matter. It don't matter if you don't if you use menstrual blood, if you use blood, if you use earwax. It don't matter if you do or you do not use it on your sigil. I do it because I like to amplify it. I like to throw a little spin on it. It pulls the creative energy outside of me. 
I love it. I love theater gore. Like, like I said, feed your, feed your, feed your, um, feed your deities. Hungry. They want to eat too. You eat it while they can't eat. Last night, I gave him a peanut butter cracker. Today, I'm going to give him a piece of watermelon for him helping me out. And I'm just saying him. There's no name to it. There's no gender. I'm just saying him. But there's no gender, gender to this, to this, um, to this entity. It's just when you break it down to the science. But when I say it in 3D terms and I say it in human language, I use a gender so it hits some of you guys. Okay? I love you guys a lot. Day 5 food challenge. Mucus is coming up, y'all. It's coming up my throat, coming up my nose, earwax, you know what I'm saying? Some other places I ain't going to really speak about, but it's all coming out. Keep purging. Keep detoxifying. Some of you people say you can light. That's how you're supposed to. When you walk, you're supposed to feel like you float and levitate. I feel like I'm gliding when I walk. Because my physical body is not holding me down. My physical body is not weighing me down. I don't feel weighed down. I don't make McDonald's on my stomach or a piece of beef or a big ass burger or some pork bacon or something. I don't feel, you know what I'm saying? Well, I haven't been eating that for about three or four years anyway. But for some of you guys that are just getting onto this raw food challenge and you did go from eating McDonald's or eating pork, now I know you feel that lightness. You ha- you're getting more energy. Yes, some of you guys are experiencing, you know, feeling sick from the raw food challenge, and it's because you got so many toxins in your body. But you have to get sick before you can get better. So hang in there, y'all. We on day five. Now, I know I said we were going to take this for seven days, but we're going to take this the whole month. We're going to take advantage of this, this raw food challenge the whole month. I, if you guys can't, can't do it the whole month and you set your intentions to do it for the week, that's still good. If you guys could even do it for the whole week and did it for three or four days, that's still good. You are doing what the majority can't even do. Congratulate yourself. Give yourself a pat on the back. You are making effort. It don't matter if you can't do it for a whole week or you can't do it for a whole month. You are doing it. Okay? It takes 21 days to break a habit and to get to a new one. So if y'all could just finish out this raw food challenge for all of um August, if y'all could finish the whole raw food challenge for the whole month of August, I guarantee you, some of you guys will just stop eating meat, period. Some of you guys will switch to like a, veg- a vegetarian or, or a vegan diet, but it's going to make a change in your life. The whole month, yes, it's the whole month. Journal. Journal, journal, journal. This is also the time to harden in manifestation energy. So write down what you want. Write down what you want and make action to what you want. Because what you want is energy. And energy has to be in motion. So you got to give it a little push. You got to do a little effort. You just can't say, I want a brand new house. And then don't go, you know, check out property or don't, you know, try to look at a house. You know what I'm saying? You got to at least put a little bit of effort. A little bit of motion to the action. So I'm still sitting in the parking lot, driver's, you know, driver's place, you know, me and Igor chilling. So I'm about to go ahead and go. I'm about to get my morning started. I'm about to go to the gym. I'm feeling wonderful. I'm feeling pumped up. I ain't eaten nothing yet. I'm still feeling good because I'm hot. He passed me. This podcast. Look at him. He passed me. <laughs> um. I'm just feeling energized. Yes, yesterday the only thing I ate was, was um peanut butter and but I love you guys. Um, I hope this shed some light on um on um shed some light for you guys. I hope that you know if you're using your entities, drop down testimony. Let us know how it's working for you. The more people see that it's working, the more people gonna do it. And the more they're going to believe. Because some people need that confirmation at the time. So keep pushing your stuff, you guys. I love you, I love you, I love you. Let's see what kind of downloads I get today. And that will determine if I will make another video today, you guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Don't let the matrix get to you. Don't let it get to you. Peace. One love.
la, en, 